Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. Sawadee Krap and welcome to this edition of Phuket Extra brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Satara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. We're coming at you here from the Phuket Oil Field Classic 2016 here at the beautiful Lok Palm Golf Course in Katu. I'm JP Mistanza. Phuket's newest road project, the Tepsi Sin Bridge on the outskirts of Phuket Town, is finally open this week as officials say they have more in store for the new road. During the official dedication ceremony on Wednesday, Thailand Transport Minister said the new bridge will have the light rail running across it in the future, though that project is still a long ways away. The new bridge near Phuket Town traverses protected mangroves and connects Sakti Det Road in Widget to Ratanakosin 200P Road in Phuket Town and took over two years to complete at a cost of over 176 million baht and the operators of 40 shops along Surin Beach are asking officials to extend the deadline for demolition, saying the move to regulate the beach is badly affecting their livelihoods. The shops along Surin Beach are supposed to be dismantled by April 15th since they encroach on public land. Shop operators say many of the structures, however, were originally built by the authorities themselves in the mid-90s. They're also asking officials to help find them new sites for their businesses. And a new plan proposed by officials in Bangkok would send drink driving offenders on probation to do community service at hospital morgues. Officials in the probation department say that regular community service efforts like cutting trees and cleaning roads don't work. So they want to take it to the next level in the hopes that by sending them to the morgue it will help offenders understand the consequences of drunk driving. The proposal, which is being considered by the cabinet, comes amid the Songkran holiday when roughly two people die per hour on the road, according to statistics. And stay right there, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Phuket's authentic Indian cuisine has arrived to Bollywood Phuket Restaurant and Bar. Open 11 to 11 and close Tuesdays. Go to BollywoodPhuket.com. Welcome back. We'll find out more about the Phuket Oil Field Classic in a bit, but for now, let's get back to the news. When voters finally get to vote yes or no on the new Thai constitution on August 7th, they'll also be asked which parliamentary house should pick the next prime minister, the military-appointed Senate or the elected House of Representatives. The controversial question was added to the referendum yesterday by the National Legislative Assembly. Officials say this year's Songkran will be the biggest in 10 years as they expect to generate over 124 billion baht in spending by both Thai and foreign travelers. The Thai Chamber of Commerce says the 4.5% increase from last year's spending is thanks to tax deduction measures introduced by the government. Starting today, Thailand's major airports are projected to see over 16% more travelers than last year while Phuket will see a whopping 30% leap in tra passenger traffic from 2015. Things are about to get a bit more busy. And I'm here with Mark Cameron, the organizer of the 2016 Phuket Oil Field Classic. Thank you for joining us, Mark. Yeah, good morning. All right, so what are we doing here today? Well, this is the eighth annual uh, Phuket Oil Field Classic that we've held on the island. Um, we have a lot of international uh, guests come over from uh, all over from the Middle East to America, to the UK, to Singapore. So um, they all congregate here once a year and we play a round, a round or two of golf. Great. So you guys are also in Red Mountain as well as in Lock Palm. How many golfers you got this year? We've got 64 uh, playing this year. It's still a great field to have at this time of year. Okay. And what are some other things you can tell me about the Phuket Oil Field Classic? I mean, it's, a, it's a, several days of golfing all around here in Katu. Yeah, generally the people arrive on the Thursday night, we play golf on the Friday and the Saturday and then they all leave on the Sunday, but a lot of people stay because we normally have it around about Songkran time, so a lot of people stay to enjoy the festivities of Songkran. Um, and yeah, we, we raise a lot of money for the kids' charity. This year it's uh, Bandek Holland, 
Um, so we're, we're, we're hoping to raise quite a bit of funds for Bandit Holland this year. Well, thanks for joining us on this edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort, Phuket. I'm JP Mastanza. We'll see you on Monday. This is the Phuket News. This is Novosti Phuketa. This is Puji Dao Xinwen, the new Chinese language newspaper for Phuket. Available at 600 locations around Phuket. Your island, your newspapers.